So while working on the um, solar generator for my um, pergola, the one that I have out installed in my garden to power the pergola, I needed to get a solar charge controller for it. Now I was using a that MP uh, what 7210A, and it works great. There's no problems with it, and it's about the cheapest solar charge controller you can buy, and it's about fifty dollars. The problem is, a it's you know fifty you know when you're building solar generators to put fifty dollars just into the solar solar charge controller is that's a bit of a hard pill to swallow and then also they're kind of large in size and, and so uh, you know when you're trying to build a solar generator um, the size of the solar charge controller is is important so I happened to be messing around on AliExpress and I saw that there were actually um, MPPT solar charge controller PCBs and so, of course, I bought one. Now, when I bought it, it said that it was rated for like 65 watts or something like that. But interestingly, in the Chinese here, it says it's 35 watts, something, something, 60 watts. And what I think it is, is it's 35 watts as is and 60 watts if you add additional cooling and heat sinking. So, you know, that's interesting. But actually, you know, 60 watts is fine because, you know, if you're building a solar generator, you're probably going to charge it off probably like a single 100 watt panel. And a 100 watt panel really only produces, you know, 60 watts on a good day. Um, so, you know, 60 watts is fine. Um, so let's open this thing up. And here's what we have. Um, okay, so it's the PCB. Couple, uh, you know power regulators and this heat sink um, which I guess will stick on there um, does it even fit nicely feels like it's rubbing up on something guess it sort of fits anyways we'll stick that up on there and then what this thing is is it's a it's a constant it's got constant current constant voltage um, so um, uh, you know this is uh, um, so you dial in the current and the voltage that you want and then it should always output that regardless of how much you know solar you put in here it should always output you know 29 volts at you know and try to hit two amps or whatever so um, that's uh, you know so we'll test this in a second um, you know I am you know my, my solar you know my solar generator out there is a 29.4 volt um, solar generator and this is a maximum of 30 volts so this just works um, and it, it actually takes a maximum of 30 volts in and your no, a normal solar panel is about 20 volts so that's fine and this claims to be boost and buck it claims to be able to boost and buck whatever voltage you need as long as it's between 0 and 30 volts so I need 29 volts and uh, you know maybe at 2 amps that would keep it under 60 watts um, so we will test this. I'm going to have to go outside since that's where my solar panel is, and and um, um, yeah, we'll 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 um, I guess I'll stick this on and we'll get some multimeters and do some testing and see what we can do with it. Okay, so here is my um, solar generator built inside a like plastic side table, and um, um, this is a uh, barrel connection that comes with one of my solar panels. And so I'm going to plug this in here. And the fans are running. And uh, let's see. And fortunately, we're only pulling about 6 watts right now from the solar panel. Um, I can see it is partially shaded, which is unfortunate, but yeah, 6 watts. So that's what the MP7210 uh, in there is doing. So let's see what we can get out of this thing here. So I've put a barrel jack on one side and an XT on the other side. And then what I can do is I can use my new meter that has a bunch of XTs on it. And I can plug that into the battery. But before we plug into the battery, I am going to put the solar in and plug in the meter because I want to. 
we don't know what voltage it's trying to output. Um, good news is the light is on. And right now it is only putting out, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it's only putting out 16 volts right now, so we need to turn up the constant voltage. Yes, and the voltage is rising. Let me see if you can see this. Okay, let me turn it up. We need to get all the way to 29 volts. So the good news is it does boost because I know the solar panel is certainly not putting out 23 volts right now. Um, okay, we want to get around 29, 29.2 ideally. Close. Uh, 29.2 volts, perfect. Okay, so the MPPT charge controller is boosting to 29 volts, which is great. So I am going to plug it into the uh, into my battery and see what we get. Okay. Um. Okay, interestingly, uh, we are charging at 4.8 watts. I don't know if you can see that. It's since I'm tethered now to the to the battery, I can't bring this any closer. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, five watts down here. Yeah, five watts. So it is charging this battery. Um, and it is charging at the same efficiency as the, um, let me zoom out a little bit, it is charging at the same efficiency as the MP7210A. Um, and this thing only cost about $8. This thing cost $50. And right now we're getting the same wattage. I'll wait a little bit and um, wait until the sun, until we get some good sun on the panel, and we'll do some more testing in a second. But initially, it's doing exactly what it needs to do, and um, it's about as efficient as the MP7210 for like, which is like, you know, eight times the price. So I'll check back in a second. Okay, so the sun's come out a little bit more, and we are charging at 30 watts, which is what this said it was rated for without additional cooling. And I can tell you it is, it's warm. It's warm. It's not burning me, but it's also not cool. So, yeah, probably, you know, 30 watts is is fine um probably much more it probably will need some form of active cooling maybe a fan or something on it um but yeah it's this thing's pretty cool first impressions are it just seems to sort of work um it boosts and bucks as needed now obviously you know 30 to 60 watts or whatever it's rated at isn't that much 
but if you only have a single sort of sort of folding panel that you're traveling with and you want to plug it into your solar generator this thing's about perfect um, you're not going to produce more than 60 watts or whatever with some sort of folding solar panel so yeah I think this thing's pretty cool and and you know it's got the screw holes on it so you can just screw it into your solar generator and it doesn't take a much room and and um, you know you just set whatever voltage you need for your battery between 0 and 30 volts and uh, yeah just sort of works and does the rest so I think uh, I might screw this in here full time and pull out my um, 7210A um, just so that I can um, have my 7210A for other projects and testing and just leave this in, in, in here um, I am going to uh, let's see what the 7210A is doing right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to we know that this is charging at uh, 28 watts right now I'm going to unplug it Okay, I am plugging in my 7210A. You can hear the fans turning on on the 7210A. Okay, so yes, the MP7210 just needs a bit of time to ramp up. You can see we're already at like 26 watts. Yeah, 27 watts and ramping up. Yeah, so it just takes, the MP7210 just takes time to ramp up its wattage. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're very comparable. Um, uh, you know, again, this is fifty dollars, and this is, I think, eight dollars. So, um, pretty amazing. Again, you might have to do some extra cooling, some extra heat sinking, maybe a little fan on it. I mean, this has a fan. This might need a fan. Um, but uh, yeah, for the price, I'm pretty happy with the circuit board.